In this video, we will show you an overview of our Cinema 4D plugin and takes rendering. First, let's take a look at our test scene. As you can see, the scene contains three takes. All three takes are using the same camera, render settings, and render range. The only difference is the color material on the cloner object. Our plugin also supports take rendering with a render preset per take or different camera setups per take. Our test scene contains MoGraph animation with a cloner object. As you can see, it's already cached to files, which is the suggested solution for such a scenario. Without a cache file for dynamic effectors, you can expect issues and differences in frames. Now let's review some of the render settings. Just prepare render range, resolution, main output format, and multipass layers, and any additional options like ambient occlusion, denoiser, or GI. Our scene contains many animated elements, so we will use the full animation switch for all GI engines. Generally, just configure your render preset the same way as you were rendering on your local machine. Now, once everything is set and ready to render, just close the render settings window and save your scene. Go to the extensions menu and choose Render Beamer, Beam It Up. This option will forward your scene to our Cinema 4D plugin. Once the plugin is done with the checking procedure, it will bring up the main UI. The plugin UI is displayed directly in the Render Beamer tab. Our scene is based on the Take system, so the C4D plugin automatically starts in the Takes tab. Otherwise, the plugin will start in camera mode. On the plugin UI, you can change some basic render settings. Turn on the strips rendering for a high resolution single frame, change the orientation of the strips, and set the desired resolution. The next important switch is all active takes in a single job. This switch should be used if your project contains hundreds of variations to avoid additional jobs in the render queue. If your scene is more standard, like having three or 10 takes, just leave it off. Below, you can find the takes list. As you can see, we have all the renderable takes listed here, red, green, and blue. If you want to continue with the current setup, just use the send button. At this point, our Cinema 4D plugin will save the scene and prepare all the project data for upload. Depending on the scene file size and the assets used, the preparation and upload processes may take some time to complete. As you can see, the project is quite small, and it's already uploaded to the farm file servers. At the end of the process, Render Beamer will bring up the job submission pop-up. From here, you can use a button or simply copy the direct scene link and open it in the browser. You will be redirected to the web manager. At the top of the job window, you will see information about the current farm render queue, separated for CPU and GPU render nodes. As you can see, most of the render properties from the Cinema 4D render setup and the plugin panel are reflected here. In the main part of the job submission window, you can see our scenes takes list. All three selected takes, red, green, and blue, are already turned on, as we set them the same way in the plugin setup. You can also check the renderable camera and render range for each take. If you have already prepared everything before uploading the scene to the farm, you can leave those settings as they are. There is one more important switch to review before adding the scene to the render queue, and that's the mode box. As you can see, it's currently set to takes, as this is the main mode we used in the C4D plugin setup. However, if for some reason you want to render cameras instead of takes, you can still do this without the need to re-upload the scene. Just click on the mode box and change it to cameras. Now, the setup panel has changed to the cameras list instead of takes. To continue with takes rendering, just switch back to the takes mode. And if everything is set and good to go, just hit the submit button. The job submission window will close and you can observe the render progress of all three takes. As you can see, we already have some frames rendered, so let's download them with Render Beamer. Render Beamer downloads all available outputs, including multipass, buffers, and any additional scene render layers. Just switch to the download tab, refresh the list, and download the desired outputs. Now let's check the test results. Just use the open directory option directly on the selected render output. 
As you can see, we have all the downloaded outputs here. The first one is the red take, where we can see the multi-pass layers and the main render output. One directory higher, you will find the rest of the already downloaded folders. Now just wait for the rendering to complete and download the rendered files. So, this is what the final animation looks like. That's pretty much all when it comes to Cinema 4D takes rendering on our render farm. Happy rendering at garagefarm.net. Thank you.